everyone. Um, you've probably seen on my Instagram that I got crochet braids and I just wanted to come with you, come to you and be completely honest about how I feel about them, um, my experience getting them because I did not do them myself. I don't know how to cornrow. I know you're probably thinking of taking away my black girl card, but whatever. I don't know how to cornrow, so I thought I'll go to somebody and the rates weren't too bad to get the actual extensions put in, so I decided I was going to go and have someone else do it. Well, my appointment was this morning at 10 o'clock and I didn't leave the salon until almost 7 o'clock at night. Everything I looked up on YouTube, you know, everything I researched, people were like, oh yeah, this takes maybe four hours to do. And the stylist I went to even told me, it'll take about four hours. <sighs> this did not take four hours. I originally went in um, you know, a couple weeks before and asked if they do crochet braids, if they could, if they knew what they were, could they work with transitioning hair? And the girl was like, yeah, yeah, I can do this. So we texted back and forth and um, I told her, you know, I have the hair I want. I want it really, I want the long, curly, full look. I saw a couple people on YouTube who said they used four packs of hair and they had it, you know, nice and long. I wanted to keep it around the same length as my own hair. Um, my hair is, you know, I'll show you a picture right, right here. My hair blown out and that's how long it is. It's about bra strap length. I actually trimmed it a little bit. I didn't make a video. I'm sorry, but I trimmed it a bit because I thought it looked a little ratty. So, but long story longer, my hair is about bra strap length. The front of it comes to about re right here. I wanted the curly long hair that I got in crochets to be that same length. Granted, that would mean my hair looked longer, but I wanted to keep it long. I wasn't really going for a big afro look. So, I don't know if it was the hair that I got, but taking it apart, it got really, really tangled. I used two packs of Free Tress, Bo I'm sorry, three packs of Free Tress Bohemian Braid. and one pack of Bobby Boss um, Dual Braid Water Wave. And that one I got last minute. I ordered Free Tress online, that came in like eight days and I was panicking because I thought, oh, I need to have another pack of hair just in case. So I found a local beauty supply store that actually sells curly hair, so I might use them from now on. But that's where I got the Bobby Boss. So I told her, I was like, okay, I got the hair I want. You know, everyone I've, the look I'm going for says to use four packs of hair. I could do that. It wasn't very expensive. It was fine. And she didn't really, oh, air conditioning's on. Hang on. Okay. She didn't really um, ask me how to do it. And she once she... You know, she took Kanekalon hair. I had a, some hair left over from when I did Senegalese, like way back when. And she used that to reinforce my braids. My braid pattern was kind of diagonal. And the back had like an S in the back, which I've seen before. And, um,. And that was fine, you know, I, it didn't hurt until she got to like the very center part because I told her, I'm not, I don't think I'm really tender headed, whatever, it's, it's fine. And she was going at it and it was, I was okay. She got to the crown and she had mentioned before that that's like the softest part of your hair, your, your scalp, that's usually where it grows the fastest. I don't know if that's true, but that it'll hurt. And yeah, it did. It was, it was pretty, pretty smart when she did that. Anyway, um, we got the braid pattern down. I got really, I was really excited. You know, I'd never had cornrows. It was like a moment for me and everyone in the salon was kind of laughing. Um, and then she starts with the hair and she's pulling apart the Bobby Boss and it wasn't tangling that bad, but she didn't cut them. I guess I should have told her to cut the first pack and use it in the back. So it would all kind of come to the same length because otherwise it was going to be like, mid back tailbone length and then the rest of it was going to be bra strap so but you know she put it all in there and I could tell she was I think she was putting them really close together and in the back you don't really need to and she wasn't dividing the packs or the little clumps of hair 
She goes on to the free tress hair and it starts tangling like crazy. And I thought, oh, I should have treated the hair. I should have washed it. I should have done something. But she only started separating it when she was getting to the end, you know, the last, the end of the third pack of free tress hair. And I was really starting to pay attention that she had gotten about, you know, I still had all this to do and she was almost out of hair and I could tell she was panicking. And so she was taking pieces out from the back splitting them and they're getting all fuzzy and tangly as you can see this this is how fuzzy and tangly it is and I just got this done like two hours ago so she's taking those apart she's putting them in and she's doing this and doing this I think I actually have like two of little sp spaces back here don't even have any hair on them you know that's fine the look is still full whatever but she could have saved herself a ton of time if she just spaced out the hair and I, it was getting late. It was like five o'clock and I was like, maybe it'll be easier if you just, when you take the hair out that you cut it in half and then fill it in. She's like, oh yeah, it'll give it, give it like a layered look. I'm okay with the layered look. It would look, it would look more natural that way. Well, she's almost done and she starts snipping and snipping. She's like, I'm going to shape it a little bit. I'm like, okay, okay. And at this point I thought, well, the long hair is not going to be there because she had got here. It was like a short layer and then it was long and then it was just... I I knew then, or I guess I knew a while before then, that I was not going to get the long crocheted look that I was going for. And I wasn't going to, it wasn't going to be something that could gradually grow because it's already huge. Um, the part she gave me with the diagonal, I guess it's kind of hidden. I said hidden part, but this makes me feel like, so that's why I just pushed it over. I think it's only eight braids in the front. Apparently I have a small head. I don't know. <sighs> anyway, I might have to play with this a little bit and just shape it. And she was like, I really like it. I really like it. And I would like it too if I asked for it. But I didn't ask for it to be big and short. I wanted it to be full and long. And I guess I should have brought more hair and told her just don't separate them. Leave the curls intact. I thought I told her I wanted it defined and long. And long but it didn't come across very well. And her, she was a little heavy handed too. So some parts she's putting a latch hook in, she was uh, having trouble. Oh, here's the kicker. She's starting to put the hair in and she, or she's taking the packs apart and she says, you know, I've never actually done this. What? She had already cornrowed my hair. You know, I'd already committed. I was sitting there, we were having a good conversation. She tells me she's never done it, that she looked at a couple of YouTube videos and that she's a fast learner. I was like, oh, awesome awesome I'm paying this woman who's never done crochet braids so I was like oh okay well we'll just we'll be each other's first my first time getting it done your first time doing it hooray and I tried to stay positive and you know, I wasn't rude to her or anything I'm just coming to you now I have eaten I was so hungry and I get really really cranky when I haven't eaten so I'm a little less cranky now but this is me just rambling and being honest about the experience at the salon the salon was nice uh, don't get me wrong I liked the salon I found it from a friend who worked there that they they do hair so I asked if they do crochet braids and it it worked out but uh, yeah I think one I should have communicated better and two I should have found out if she actually had done crochet braids before she does braids but she never done this style before so I don't know maybe I am tender-headed too because my head is throbbing that's probably why I look so tired and worn out because one I sat in a chair for eight hours and two, my head hurts a lot, like a lot, a lot. And uh, uh, if you watched my credit girl half wig video, you know that I couldn't handle wearing a wig cap underneath a wig because it was just too much. And uh, yeah, next couple days, I'm probably going to be tanked up on Excedrin because my head was killing me. But the Excedrin's finally kicking in. I took it before I took, made this video because I... I didn't want to be like angry, but I mean, there's a couple, a couple of you on Instagram who've been really supportive and uh, saying, you know, you're going to love going natural. You, it looks so good. And I think I just, it's so big. That's the biggest part. You know, I was driving back from the salon back home and I had no peripheral and I was freaking out for a bit. So I actually pushed it out of the way with my sunglasses just so I could feel safe driving home. So this is how you know I am not used to big hair. I mean, when my hair's blown out, I think that's big hair. 
that I feel like is nothing compared to what this looks like right here. That was my experience. I think I'm gonna try and stick it out. You know, I might do some shaping. There's a couple pieces that are a little weird. Yeah, crochet braids. Hooray, protecting all my hair, keeping it hidden. The goal was to keep it in eight weeks. It might only be four. I might take it out and then put something else back in because now I have a braid pattern. I could do whatever I want, right? I don't know. I don't have a latch hook. I don't know where to find one. This is the hair. So I guess you want to see what it looks like. And, uh, oh, the Bobby Boss had, it was one and 350. So there's a little bit of red and it's because the store didn't have two. This is the color two here. There's the Bobby Boss in the back. But I guess it's basically a bob. I don't know. <laughs> the back of it. There's a little bit of color back there. You can probably see that. There's a tiny bit randomly back here. Uh, and it, you can't tell very well on camera, but... <sighs> see this hair? She didn't take out again, most of it, so the curls are still pretty together. But the hair that she did take out and then put back in is like super fuzzy, and that's why it's so big. And then the little pieces of white, I don't know what's on the synthetic hair, but it's got like a white film. It almost looks like I have clumps of marshmallows in my hair. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go through and try to clean it out or something. And I think what I really should have done was just treat the hair or wash it or use an apple cider vinegar rinse on it before she used it so it wouldn't tangle. I don't know. It was like a live and learn kind of thing. That's what she said. And I have to agree with her. It's a very, it's a learning experience. I know she felt really bad. Um, thankfully, I didn't have anything else to do today. It's my day off. But if I had, it would have been like half my head was done and it was four hours and I hope this didn't sound too angry. I'm, I'm not trying to be angry so much as I'm a little frustrated mean, with myself, a little bit with the stylist, but mainly with myself for not being clear about what I wanted. But uh, hopefully I can uh, still work with this hair. You know, at work, I work at a radio station. I wear headphones a lot. So we'll see how that works, wearing headphones over this mass of... I'll come back in about a week. I'll get you guys an update to see how I'm doing, how I'm maintaining the hair. You know, I'm thinking about taking some more pieces out because it's just massive. But we'll see how it goes. Um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, and I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. It's kind of exciting getting emails saying, oh, so-and-so has subscribed. And I'm like, oh, yay, people are watching. So um, I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope my other videos are helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything, um, leave the comments below. Always check the description box for more details. I'll have details about the hair I use, the salon that I went to. I live in Arizona, so if you don't live in Arizona, it might not be very helpful. But um, I'll stop rambling, and I will say goodnight. And uh, if you have crochet braids, if you're going to get them, you know, let me know. I'd love to see how you're going. You know, it's it's nice to be on a hair journey and then to be on it with other people and they're just like working together. So, okay, I'm done talking. I'm going to say goodbye and uh, I will see you guys in about a week. So stay tuned. Bye.